today on Garden Fork, we're gonna show you how to hang or install a clothesline. Clothesline is probably one of the most greenest, simplest things you can do as far as trying to lower your impact on the earth or you can lower your electric bill and your gas bill. They're not interested in me. But it's super simple. First thing you're gonna do is you go buy a clothesline kit like this. Make sure you get the kind with the metal pulleys and a tensioner and a length of clothesline rope. And I'm gonna show you how to put this up. The camera operator is not here. She's at the barn, so we're gonna do this solo. Your first criteria for your clothesline is site selection. Ideally, you're going to go from one structure to another. I happen to be lucky in that one of our sheds is right here behind the house, so I'm gonna put one of the, what are those things called? Screw eye hooks? One of the hooks into there, and the other one I'm gonna put into the house over here. Okay, so you need a cordless drill and a screwdriver and some rope and a knife, and that's about it. All right, here we are on the shed. Ideally, um, if you're gonna put it into a, a fascia board like this, you wanna get it into a stud. And if you see right here, there's some nails coming through here. That means that this board was nailed into a stud, which is behind there, because I just looked behind there. So you wanna drill a pilot hole, get your cordless drill, start here. I'm going to show you a little secret here. To get these in, you take a big screwdriver, latch it on like that, well ideally, put it like that, and turn it. All right, that's not going anywhere. So once you have that in, take this and put it on there, like that. Take the end of your clothesline rope and feed it through, like that. So now this is tight, that's going to go like that. Very nice. Another thing you want to be careful of is when you're siding your clothesline is you don't want the clothesline to be too low because people will walk by and go like that. That's where the term clotheslining came from. When someone gets clotheslined, you know, it was because they walked into the clothesline. So you want it above you so you can reach up and clip on things. The fierce guard dogs. I'm now on the house side of our clothesline pulley system. They're barking at the neighbor. So again, pilot hole, put this in. Well, it usually works really well, but turn them. I'll just do it by hand. So we've got our second one in. This goes on there. So there, um, I'm not the most graceful one and I always end up, when you get a big hank of rope and how to uncoil it the right way, I never end up, I end up doing it the wrong way or dropping it, so this is going to take a while. Alright, I eventually got the uh, thing all uncoiled, untangled. So just kind of take this to a rough approximate here of the length you're going to need. Always add a little more because, well at least I do. Put your knife away. Alright, you've got this really cool thing in your kit called the line tensioner. And on one end of this, you should try doing this while running a video camera. So you take one end and you tie it on to this. I think just a couple of overhand knots would be fine, but if you're into knots, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you do whatever you want. Then you take this, and it's really handy if you take this end and wrap a little electrical tape around it. So see how this is kind of all frayed out like that? If you just take some tape, like that. Okay, this thing moves, all right? So you pull this out, so it releases the tension, and then you push this through here. There's these little ball bearings in there. Well, in a perfect world, it goes through there. Okay, got it through. And then this tightens, well, it doesn't tighten, it holds the rope tight. So then we can take this, and I'm clotheslining myself. So, and you tighten up the rope like that. This will stretch over time when it gets wet and cold and wet and cold and everything. It'll contract and can span, so leave a little bit of slack on here. They also have these things called separators, which help when you put 
heavy stuff on here, it keeps the ropes from bending way down, one rope or the other. I feel like it's on my own talk show there behind the curtain. But isn't that great? It's like super simple. That's all you gotta do is you go buy the kit, it was less than 20 bucks, drill two holes, put up a rope, and you're done. You could, if you don't have another building, you could use a four x four post, get your post hole digger, put it about that far in the ground, put in a four x four, screw it into that. You could also do it on a tree. Uh, I would check about doing it in a tree first. You might get in trouble with somebody. And there you go. You're not using any fossil fuel. You're using solar fuel, I guess it's called, solar energy. But you put your sheets out here, they smell great. You can put your shirts out here. If you don't want to put your underwear out here, that's okay. All right, because I'm not going to. But I love that. I love simple, easy, done. Okay, so make it a great day. Come to our site, a bunch more videos. You can listen to Garden Fork Radio as well, our internet radio show on the site and on iTunes. And make it a great day, all right? I'll see you.